so now i will go to the very high level understanding of the health informatics data types so there are multiple types of data and actually you can imagine every sort of biomedical data biotech data healthcare data free clinical notes social network posts facebook posts twitter posts everything can be used in the context of healthcare informatics even the dietary your dietary intake the the uh, the dietary level of the chips which you take or any fast food so everything everything and anything is actually can be used to build very important use cases for health informatics but i will cover the most frequent and mostly used things so the first of it is emrs so what are emrs emrs are actually electronic medical records so it's like in majority of the countries we that they have implemented the emr so instead of capturing all the clinical notes we have the digitized format so those emrs are actually a content structured and semi structured data and this emr is a very rich source of healthcare data next is medical images so images can be x ray ct scan mri so these are mainly static images we can also have video images of suppose fetal scan and fetal anomaly scan endoscopy bronchoscopy so all sort of image and videos this fall under the domain of medical images and this for for medical image analysis we do need a very specific set of skill and specific set of algorithms which mainly fall under the domain of computer vision so computer vision is what drives medical imaging and medical image classification next is histopathology so actually uh, our body is consists of organs tissues and cells so microscopic tissue tissue sections are is what we call as histology so and the microscopic appearance of a particular tissue in case of a disease versus in case of a healthy person is different so identifying those microscopic differences by using machine learning techniques is what falls under the pathological health informatics lastly uh, all all students who come from uh, the biotech domain we know multi omics data so multi omics contains genomics transcriptomics proteomics and metabolomics there are also other omics data so and this high throughput data of genomics and mass spe mass spectrometry these are also used for health informatics cases so nowadays people are talking about precision therapy in cancer in cancer you profile the particular tissue you profile the particular genomic structure of the tissue you 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 profile it using single cell transcriptomics you find out the main genes which are perturbed for that for that patient and you give them a very precise drug as per that particular gene profile next is epidemiological data so epidemiology actually consists of population level data so socio economic background education public health conditions what is uh, the literacy what is the socio economic status how many cars do i own what is my lifestyle and these all things fall under the category of epidemiological data and actually from this data we can find out very very useful insights of multiple diseases so we can so suppose in the context of covid we can find out that which are the main geographical uh, pockets from which covid is more concentrated in the in the context of any lifestyle disease we can tell that in which particular population or they male or female or males from which particular part of the country they are more prone to develop diabetes and other diseases so this helps us to detect population level insights so that we can change the public health policy accordingly and there also we use informatics then i already mentioned about time series data these are mainly data live streaming data coming from fitbits and wearables like a apple watch or a samsung watch like that 
And from that, we can predict time series analysis and we can predict a particular event which is going to come. So in the context of geriatric population, there is one important use case called fall prediction. So basically geriatric people tend to fall very often because of the lack of proper homeostasis in the uh, blood pressure. So, so the blood pressure suddenly drops down. So if we can predict from the past records of blood pressure that this person is going to have the blood pressure gradually dropping down and this and hence an impending fall so we can maybe uh, give an alert or a, or a no notification to the particular person and the concerned healthcare workers or the relatives to tell that this person is going to have a particular fall and actually fall incidents do cause a huge burden on the healthcare system in the west as well as in the east so it's a very important use case for, uh, for the healthcare organizations so clinical notes so actually emrs are not yet implemented in majority of the countries we still we still have clinical notes and these clinical notes are actually they they are there in sort of silos they are isolated they are not usable for informatics or insight generation so we have to convert the clinical notes to a digital format now this conversion of clinical notes to digital format we use something called ocr now after ocr we use something called natural language processing or nlp this ocr nlp helps us to extract clinical note into digital format and then provide insights and lastly social network data so you can do sentiment analysis from twitter posts that this person is having this sentiment as detected by their multiple posts over the last six months so that can cause so that tells me that this person is a high risk for a depression and maybe a suicide so this so suicide detection and all the mental health problems this we can do from the uh, this sort of data so again, so this variety of data and combining all sorts of data into the uh, by data specific format for a particular prediction or insight generation, this is what health informatics consists of. And we will be going to have a very good understanding of this particular thing in the course. And we will be going to discuss two to three case studies in this course and also with a hands-on session.